Late Lit TV is at Battery Park City Branch of the New York Public Library for Kids Live Author Talks. And we have Paul Sajak with us. Hey, Paul, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Today, I understand you'll be reading from your new book, Monster Needs a Party. Now, this is part of a series, right? It is. Uh, this is the fourth book in the series. The first book is called Monster Needs a Costume, then Monster Needs to Sleep, Monster Needs a Christmas Tree, and now Monster Needs a Party. The monster is not a scary monster, is it? No, no. He is hardly scary. I like to describe him as almost like a child figure who has ADD. He is all over the place. He just wants to do everything. The whole series really focuses around monster and boy. You, you don't see a parent figure at all in the story because the boy is really the parent figure in this relationship. They're best friends. So did you base boy on you? Yeah, I kind of did, a little bit. I, I, I had to. <laughs> the monster's kind of like my children and the boy is me. The book has great illustrations. Who's the illustrator? The illustrator for the Monster Me series, her name is Wendy Green. She actually lives out in California. I haven't met her yet. She was a storyboard artist for Phineas and Ferb. So when they told me they got a Disney illustrator for this, I, I, I was out of my mind. I mean, that's incredible. I couldn't have gotten any luckier. So how did this whole monster thing come about? I, I love this story, actually. When I was driving my daughter to daycare, uh, she was playing with her Barbie dolls in the back seat, and she just happened to say, my monster needs a haircut. Now, why she said it, I have no idea, but I thought it was a great line. And so by the time I dropped her off and drove to work, I had half the story about this monster who needs a haircut. And that's what started the whole series. Before becoming a children's book author, you had another career, right? I did. I was a chemist for 21 years. 20, you don't look that old. So this is a big change. It, it, it was a big change. And I, I mean, I still love the sciences. Don't get me wrong. I, I love chemistry. But this was doing very well, so I figured this was a time to, to make a change. Well, this is your latest, and there's a newer book than this, right? And that is Seaver the Weaver. Now, a Seaver is a spider. He is, a, he is an orb spider. What is an orb spider? An orb spider, you see orb spiders in your gardens. If you have a garden, I guarantee you've seen one. Uh, it's those circular webs that, that look like a bicycle wheel. And Seaver is a spider who does not want to weave circular webs. He wants to do something else, and he gets inspired by the stars in the sky to create different shapes. So today you'll be speaking to a group of kids here at the library. So what do you have in store for them? Well, I'm going to read the books, uh, Monster Needs a Party, and I'm gonna read Seaver the Weaver. But then I'm just gonna give them a little taste on some of my school visits, what I talk about, inspiration, and how my books get made, and, and, and things like that. What was the strangest uh, thing you were ever asked on a school visit? The strangest thing I was ever asked, uh, do I have any muscles? A child stood up, do you have any muscles? And I thought that was an odd question, but... Well, the answer is, did you answer it? I did, of course. Pulled out the gun show, are you kidding me? I love talking about my stories, how they're created. I hope the kids get a, a charge out of it as well. Well, thanks for being with us. Check out Paul's author talk at mypl.org.